Good day, YouTube pipe community, or as also addressed, the YTPC. How you doing? I'm Jack Jasm, and this is one of my introductory videos to the YouTube pipe community. I am a pipe tobacco puffer, a brother of belief. After watching a lot of you guys' videos online, matches 860 stuffing thing you know, just some of my favorite guys there's a lot of you out there I'm not going to try to call you all out because I end up missing somebody so many of you guys videos that I watch I love to watch the older gentlemen with more experience and um, especially those that have their own pipes selling and tobacco selling business I learned a lot from you guys and I believe a lot of the rest of the YouTube pipe community does as well I'm actually at work on duty and um, just had some time to sit in my vehicle while I'm watching some stuff. And I said to myself, well, you know, let me see if I can uh, actually put a video together. I purchased an unfinished Savinelli pipe. They normally have a certain uh, coloration to them with them being unfinished. And it's normally like a lighter tan, you know, color. One thing I noticed that as I began to use this pipe is that it began to change in color not sure if it has something primarily to do with the type of tobacco i've been using in it which has mainly been aromatics because i mainly smoke aromatics along with you know the natural oils from my hand but i noticed it started to turn this almost reddish color that allowed me to see the wood grain on it a lot better it's one of the things that all of us love to see is that beautiful wood grain no matter where you get your pipe from, it's always something very appealing and part of that whole pipe nostalgia that we're all attracted to. Um, this is something that I've never um, experienced. I'm familiar with the Meerschaum pipes. I have one Meerschaum that I don't use that much. I um, allowed it to get a little bit of coloration to it. You know, just don't enjoy it as much as my briars. This is something I've never heard spoken about um, with the unfinished pipes. I have a handful of Nording pipes, none of them the unfinished, but I have seen the unfinished. And now I'm thinking I'm more interested in seeing one of the handmade Nordings with the unfinished wood on it, or maybe even the signature with the unfinished um, on it, and seeing if the same thing happens. So I actually took the liberty of going back to my tobacconist and showing them the difference in the coloration on the pipe to get their thoughts on it. And to my surprise, they were actually amazed at the difference because at this particular tobacconist, they deal mainly with cigars. So um, they were not familiar with this and um, you know suggested that I take a picture, in which I did. So what you're looking at right now they didn't have any more of the model Savinelli that I um, purchased, but they did have more of the unfinished Savinelli's in other shapes. So I got the one that was closest to the shape and put it next to it and took a picture. So you can see the difference here where the lighter one is of the original finish and the more darker reddish one is my unfinished savonetti that I purchased after I started smoking it. So there's your difference. There's a, a good visual for you. So if anyone else is familiar with this process or you have an unfinished pipe that may have done the same thing, I think it's beautiful. Even though it brings out more the feels and everything that you see make this a lower grade savonetti, I still think it gives it a lot more character, allows you to see that wood grain beautifully noticing that it is actually getting better let me know your thoughts you know after watching so many videos i say why not share you know why not share uh this wonderful community of brothers and sisters of belief and uh just see uh, what type of response we get here pretty sure those of you who have never experienced this will be just as surprised as i was um when it happened anyway happy puffing Peace and blessings.